everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bugger Designs. I've got this beautiful little box to show you today. It's a slider box, and inside are these yummy new Twix cookie dough candies I found at my local grocery store. Um, the box is kind of like a match box where it slides both ways. The stamp set I'm using is a new online exclusive from Stampin' Up! called Irresistible Blooms. And the designer paper is in our spring catalog, and it's called Like an Animal. Isn't that fun? All right, let's make our box first. You're gonna need two pieces of basic gray. And the measurements for these are on my blog. There's a free PDF there you can download, um, print, and two other Irresistible Blooms projects as well. Okay, the first piece that you're gonna need is seven and three fourths by five and a fourth. And we're gonna score it on all four sides at three and a fourth and one and a half. Three and a fourth, one and a half. Three and a fourth, one and a half, and three and a fourth, one and a half. <clears throat> now the second piece that you need, also basic gray, is seven by four and three fourths. And on the long side, we're gonna score it at three fourths, three and an eighth, three and seven eighths, and six and a fourth. All right. <clears throat> This piece is your little tunnel that your paper, um, that your little tray or your box is gonna slide through. So let's put this one together first, it's pretty easy. Burnish those lines. And why don't we go ahead and put on our designer series paper before we put it together. It doesn't matter which of the larger sections that you put it on. You can use that shiny side if you like, but I'm actually a non-shiny fan. I think I'd rather have this side. So I'm gonna put that there. And then just take your adhesive and put it down one of the long tabs and fold this one in, fold it here, and fold it over like that, basically in half, and you've created that little tunnel for your box. All right, now this one's a little more complicated. We're gonna burnish all these lines and we're gonna make the sides so that they have a rounded edge. We're gonna actually fold in the top section over that second section to create that rounded edge. All right, now the first thing you're gonna do is cut off these three squares on all four sides, all right? So take your scissors and you can cut in all the way like that, but don't cut that, that one there off. Cut those two and then cut that one. Now, before you leave this corner, cut this tab at an angle like that. Also cut this one at an angle and this one just at a slight angle. Okay, so we're gonna do that on all four sides. Up to the second score line, cut off the outside too, cut off the remaining square, and then just cut the corners slightly off of each of these remaining tabs. Let's see if I can get that a little more straight. There we go. All right, we've got two more. Okay, here is what your piece looks like. And I'm gonna put adhesive on the outside four sections. Like that. I'm also gonna put just a little bit right here to put these, um, these little tabs just to kind of hold them in place while I'm folding everything up. So fold those tabs in and line them up so that they're even right there on the edge. Okay, like that. Then we'll do the same thing here, like this. So here's what your box looks like now. 
Okay, and now you're just gonna take those sides and fold them down into your box. And this creates a really nice rounded edge on all four sides. And then our little Twix cookie dough fits perfectly in there and slides beautifully into our box. Okay, now for this flower, we're gonna do just a little bit of a watercolor background. I've got some shimmer white cardstock here um, taped down to just a piece of chipboard. And I've got it taped down just because we're gonna use a lot of water and I don't want my paper to curl up. Now let's see if I have a block to use, I don't. So what I'm gonna do is take my ink pad and squeeze it like that so that I have ink right there. And I'm gonna get my water and I'm just gonna splash it down, all right? No rhyme or reason. And the more water you use, the less intense your color will be. So if I had, if I was using a clear block, each time I could just stamp it back onto my ink pad, get more ink. And I'm gonna do this a couple of times. I'm gonna let it dry and then do it again and then let it dry and maybe do it again. So the more layers that you add, the darker your color is gonna be. And for the sake of the video, I have one that's done. So let me clean this up, move this out of the way and I will show you. Right over here, I've got a piece. And you can see where I did the, the layers. So this was the back layer. And then I came back in and did another layer. And wherever the water dries, it's gonna leave these really cool texture lines, okay? On to our watercolor paper. I'm gonna start with my embossing buddy. I'm gonna rub it really good on here to remove any of the static that might be on there. And I'm gonna stamp this just where I like, wherever I like, wherever the texture is pretty cool. And then get your white embossing powder. And it looks like my tray has some remnants from the last time I used it. So let's just make sure we don't mix any colors. And there we go, isn't that beautiful? Now before we put this away, let's grab our black stitched rectangle. And we're gonna do the same thing with a sentiment. Okay, so rub it take your sentiment. This uh, stamp set has some fabulous sentiments and the fonts are just beautiful. All right, so this one says, I couldn't be happier to have you as my friend. All right, and then we'll tap that off. Let's see, I missed the eye right there. Perfect. Okay, so now once you've got that all set up, bring over your heat tool Mine is always buried at the bottom. With your smaller images, you wanna make sure you use your little reverse tweezers that comes with your tray and in your embossing buddy. It'll prevent your um, fingers from burning because the heat tool gets very hot. All right, let's bring over our cut and emboss machine. And we're gonna use the matching die right here. Actually, we want the bigger one to cut this out. You're also want to, you're going to want to get some silver foil and cut out two leaves. Okay, so now we've got some paper left over to make some other flowers for maybe more boxes or a different project, maybe a card to go with your box. All right, now I have used several embellishments here. I've got a our silver mesh, which is just really fun. I'm gonna cut a piece of that off, and I'm gonna take, also, I'm gonna take my um, um, gray granite ribbon. I'm gonna tie a really big, kind of loose bow. I want these to stick out pretty far, okay? And then, so we've got that, and we're gonna sandwich these two like this. And then we're also gonna take a piece of the gingham, and I'm not even gonna tie a bow, really. I'm just gonna kind of pinch it in the middle like this. I'm gonna turn my flower over. Let's put this right here. I'm gonna turn my flower over, and I have got 
my foam adhesive sheet. This is, um, these come in these kind of big pieces and allows you to create a bigger dimensional. This is gonna give me um, a lot of space to stick all of this stuff on. Okay, so I'm gonna put that at the back of my flower. I'm gonna start with my, whoops, hello, we gotta take the backing off or it's not gonna stick. I'm gonna stick my uh, gingham there first like that. All right, and then I'm gonna take my, let's make sure it's even. We want it even on both sides. Looks like we need to come a little bit further this way. Okay, then I'm gonna take my gray granite and let's see, do we have enough adhesive there like that? All right, and then I'm gonna take my shimmer and I'm just gonna kind of stick it there, but I'm gonna cut another piece. I'm making like a dimensional sandwich to hold all this on. Dimensionals are really strong, good adhesive that will hold down these kind of funky embellishments. All right, let's put that on there. Just smoosh it all in. And you can kind of arrange it and it'll stay where you want it. Peel that off like that. And now we've got this beautiful just cluster of goodies. Put that right there. Let's cut these off. We can trim these now that we know how big we want them. And then let's take our um, sentiment and I'll just use a, a piece of this dimensional foam, foam dimensional sheet. And put that right there. All right, and slide that there. Now, remember I told you that you also wanted two silver foil leaves. So you can use glue dots or you can use glue. I think I'm gonna use some glue. Just stick some glue on there and just kind of tuck them in and they will attach to that ribbon as the glue dries. There we go. And we've got ourselves. A really fun kind of sassy. I think that the uh, the zebra print makes it a little sassy. Fun for a, a treat for anybody, but especially maybe a girlfriend, somebody you work with, your bestie at work. I think that would make a really fun treat. All right, make sure you click the link here on YouTube, hop over to my blog and grab that free PDF. Let me know if you have questions. Thanks everybody. Bye-bye.